Hello, saviors, and welcome. My name is Savar24, and today I am back with some more Dark Side Detective. Now, in the last one, we managed to do Tome Alone, which was a two-parter, and I may very well do it for all of these videos, because I'm kind of wanting to get, the, get each chapter done in one go, but I may have to split them up in an hour long if, they, if Tome Alone is anything to go by. Now, in this one, we're going to be doing Malice in Wonderland, whereas last time we did Tome Alone. And in Malice in Wonderland, I'm not exactly sure. The Chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. It doesn't really give me much description as to what's going to happen. It just says very brief summary of what's, of what's going on. And there's just some disturbance going on at the Jones's house. Because apparently people are trying to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? It's actually fantastic. So Malice in Wonderland is the one we're here. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. Gosh, Dooley. Dooley just seems like that antsy cop who really doesn't know how to do his job that effective. Like... How's he keep his job? But he's mainly there for, like, comic relief and stuff. I had my siren on. <laughs> you waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. <laughs> the spooky crap. After you, detective. You know, whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. <laughs> Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. No. Just... No. <laughs> Go inside, because there's nothing else. Officer Dooley, why is it there's a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, sir. Mr. Jones, he's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes Finest, eh? This guy is already portraying to be a bit of a douche. Nice schooner. <laughs> you dummy. It's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. I didn't know that that was a thing. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective, I'm really around my kid. Yeah, I can tell. You're smoking and drinking. What a fine combination you showcase. Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. Yeah, because it's a pretty fancy house already. So how can you help? How can I help you, detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to be to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where, where, where I was in the none, where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Oh, okay, so either a strip club or... <laughs> Or a triple X bar. Ah, Belle's fond memories. Apparently Dooley's been there. I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? You received m matches? Oh, okay. Matches from a... Yeah. Alright, let's go into the hallway because there's nothing else to detect there. One of those crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could take one. Really, Dooley? Eh, but you, uh, you passed the corruption test? Well done, detective. Does it seem odd to you that these folks don't have a kitchen or a bathroom? The recession hit us all hard, Dooley. Wait, I haven't even explored the house and he's already noticing that there's no kitchen or bathroom? Okay. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. <laughs> okay, then. Hey, there's a closet. Let's see what's in here. 
Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup? Hmm, a black light bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and a fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night we'll be finding this kid. Do the disco. Oh, shoot. Dooley. Also, why did you follow me into this closet? Because I'm coming out of the closet, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. The jokes. All right, so let's head into the study room. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. That's a good question. So yeah, I haven't even explored this house and he's already pointing out that there is no, that there is no bathroom or kitchen. Like how would he, how would I have ever found that one out? All right, telephone. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw, I mean, put it. Knowing that you're in a video game there, Dooley, apparently fourth wall breaking is, a, is in a game like this as well. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Eh. You do what you can, I guess. Is there anything in the attic? Attics are always good. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. It can be useful. A box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. Broken Dreams? Looks like this gave way recently, spilling paint thinner all over the wall. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Okay. Boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. A broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Oh, gosh. What the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. I get it. The door, the magic doorway swung open and the paint thinner fell on the ground, huh? Who knows? I don't like the look of this detective. I'd have, I'd have gone with glowing green myself. It's creepier. That's what you're concerned with, Dooley? All right, so this is definitely the way we need to go, but I want to explore the house a little bit more. So let's go into the daughter's bedroom. Oh, hello, missus. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. This is no time for art, detective. Black light. This looks useful. Black light marker. Ah, I could use that somehow. A man. This could be a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB then. No, Dooley, don't do that. Look at this. I doubt she's going to art school. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. It only has four from what I can tell. Is there anything else here? Hi, Teddy. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid know-nothing bear. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off too. Oh gosh, really? Hello, can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone. Is there anything? You have to find her. Uh, there's a creep. You, have you found her? Have you found my baby? Not yet, but I want to ask. You have to find her. Please find my baby. My baby. Oh. Right. She's just... Find her! <laughs> Jeez. She is so distraught. She has no patience for talking. Alright. Master bedroom. Well. Narcissistic, aren't we? Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has her has hit her hard. That nanny is beautiful. Ask her if she's single. You know, as part of the investigation. Just ask her out. I mean, after the fact. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. But no picture of her dad? Or maybe her dad isn't actually her dad. Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. True. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones's detective, even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. it. Is now really the best time, right? It's always a good time for grammar. Any answer, anyway, answer the question. Duly. <laughs> long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Yeah, kids with rich parents will have a tendency to be spoiled and do whatever they want, I guess. 
I don't know. I haven't met many rich kids. <laughs> so you're the nanny? The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right. But do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure. There's nothing incriminating in there anyways. Why would you even say that? I mean, you automatically put yourself for suspicion for saying there's nothing incriminating in there. Just, just don't, just don't say anything like that. What can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. You're playing it off as if it doesn't even bother you. Like, immediately suspect. We're done here. For now. I'll get back to work. And nothing else. Yeah, she doesn't exactly act the right way. So how can I help you, detective? There seems to be an evil doorway in your attic. Just as well you're here then. Go arrest it. It's trespassing. I'm sorry? You heard me arrested. I want to press full charges. I just said there's a demonic doorway in your attic and you want to press charges against some magical doorway. That makes no sense. I've taken up enough of your time and I've nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. Alrighty then. To the study. And hey, presto, we're in. Again, narcissism. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an old oil painting of themselves. You can never trust a man who has too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Six? And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> because you got more than that, don't you? Armchair. Hey, there are only two seats in this house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. <laughs> Again, they're fourth wall breaking. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. Okay, I received the lantern. That's good to have. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time. A shame. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. <laughs> I saw that coming a mile away. As soon as he said jugs, I was like, it's not going to be a porn magazine. Officer Dooley, you can never, oh, I already asked him that one. Uh, it looks like there's nothing else in here. So, back to the living room, back up the attic. Click, kerchunk. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. Wonder what would happen if I redrew it. So we use the marker. First I need to know what to draw. It's a door. Like, how would you... Is there, like, a picture of something? Uh, broken dreams. Forgotten memories. Here we are. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. A strange page. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. So yeah, you're... I'm sorry, but this nanny is obviously disregarding stuff as if nothing's truly happening. The nanny has got some responsibility for what's going on with Alice here. Okay. Okay, it seems I have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Okay, uh, I need to draw this one, put it here, this one, put it here, and this one, put it here. That should be it. And yeah, that, that, book, that shelf didn't just fall down on its own. It had to have been like the nanny who did it. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. That would be useful if it were lit, but... <laughs> I wonder if I can file for early retirement. Is there a place where I can light? Maybe... Seems like a bad idea to me. <laughs> okay, so I got one problem solved. Now I got another one that I need a lighter. What am I thinking? I've got freaking matches. I can go up... Jeez, I'm... 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 Thing lighter, no, matches. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm not going nowhere near that creep fest. 
I'll uh, stand guard out here and get knocked out probably. Oh, it's like a mirror world because everything is the same except it's backwards. The label says Old Milk Circa 1880. Why would you store that? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. Three-eyed rats? A box marked Baby's First Cult Robes. What? Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry, and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not so fast, detective. Yeah, I had a feeling. Where's Dooley? That idiot? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian after all. Oh, crap! I did it again! I skipped the freaking thing! That's what this is, an inherent skin. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Once Dooley wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. I have no idea what it is because I can't rewind to watch it. It is, actually. Once Dooley wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Oh, I gotta think of... Oh, okay. Have a taste of your own medicine. Bye bye nanny! Well, that's that problem solved and... Puns. <laughs> yeah, gotta like the puns. <laughs> Get dunked on. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell her him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Um, okay, mister. Problem solving. Oh my gosh, stop it with the puns. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yes. Dark side detective? The dark side is what I just trapped the nanny inside of. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts, with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. <laughs> Case closed. Okay, so that was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Malice in Wonderland is now done. The next one I'm going to be doing is Disorient Express, which definitely sounds like it's going to be disorienting. So Malice in Wonderland is not going to be split up into two parts because it didn't even take up half an hour. In fact, it's going to be shorter than 20 minutes because that's about how long it took for me to beat this video. Anyways, that is going to have to be enough from this really short one because Tome Alone was, took me an hour to complete. It was a lot longer than any of the other. It was a lot longer than I originally thought it was going to be. Malice in Wonderland, on the other hand, took way too quick. It went by way too quickly. Like, there was very little I had to do. But anyways, that is going to have to be enough from Dark Side Detective. Really fun game. Nice little set of comedy. I want to go back and see what happened in those conversations because the right click button freaking skips the entire series of dialogue and that should not have an option because I don't want to skip all the uh, I guess it's I guess it's good if you like gone through the game and you want to just skip a bunch of stuff already but still just I, I, I don't want to skip the dialogue I didn't even get to read anything the nanny was about to say because I accidentally right clicked Anyways, that is going to have to be enough of this game for now. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment in the section below and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, saviors!